Hi, today we are going to discuss about emergency department life scenarios. Uh, so far we have learned HPA, physical examination, medical decision making. Now we will see all these three in a life scenario of emergency department. Uh, this is the report where you have everything. Um, towards left side we will have patient name, age, De uh, date of service, MRN number, physician name, all these are very important. We need to check each and every part of the emergency department report. Uh, each and everything is, as I told, it's an important thing. Mm, then coming to, and uh, one more thing, uh, age criteria is most important because uh, sometimes we will have some neonatal reports also where we have more specific codes for it. So we need to check the age also. Then coming to the body of the ED report how it will be uh, firstly we will have the chief complaint uh, then HPA history of present illness PMH ROAs physical examination uh, what all the workup has done by the physician uh, medical decision making final impression and any old, uh, old medical records are there the uh, physician will review it and finally the our EDMD physicians and and then finally ICDs and CPTs now we will go through each and every part of the report firstly chief complaint what is chief complaint a uh, chief complaint is nothing but the reason reason of the patient with what complaint he is coming that is chief complaint then HPA history of present illness in this the patient condition is explained in detail like duration quality where the location each and everything is explained in the history of present illness then coming to the past medical history in this past medical history three things are covered like personal history family history social history personal history is nothing but the patients chronic condition like hypertension diabetes all these are explained in the personal history personal history uh, and one more thing i want to cover in the personal history is uh, in this like chronic conditions as i told hypertension diabetes these are also coded along with the uh, final diagnosis based on the client guidelines because these are the chronic conditions and personal history is only the patient's condition then coming to the family history family history is nothing but the patient father mother uh, if they are having any diabetes hypertension cancerous conditions are uh, there all these are reported in the family history then social history social history is nothing but patient is having any cigarette smoking tobacco dependence or he might have quit the smoking like that all these are covered in the social history this covers the past medical history then coming to the review of system in this patients each and every system is explained by the patient it's not explained by the physician physician will examine the physical examination in review of system uh, uh, as patient uh, Mm, suppose he might have something with uh, coming with some complaint I mean and he will explain uh, uh, each and everything in this physical examination this is reviewed by the physician in this also all the organ systems are reviewed by the physician he will examine each and every part of the system and uh, he will uh, give something uh, like he will suppose patient is having some pain and he will absorb each and every part of the system and he will have absorb some hernia or some tenderness vagera vagera etc then coming to the workup workup is uh, suppose patient is uh, coming with some complaint he will suspect some uh, condition so in order to check that he will do some work workup like laboratory urine analysis radiology he will order some radiology like x-ray ct etc and uh, if um, in order to control the pain he will administer some injections or uh, iv normal salines like that finally medical decision making this is the most important criteria of the ed report because based on the medical decision making only we will give the enm level which is most important criteria of the ED report based on the workup 
and based on the results he will discuss everything in the medical decision making and finally he will give the final impression or diagnosis and he will review the all records so now patient is coming with the abdominal pain which is from two days and the type of the pain is burning pain which is a quality of the pain and the pain location is in the right lower quadrant pain and uh, i want to Mm, uh, tell you something because uh, in ED specificity is very important now patient is coming with the abdominal pain so where the pain is in the right lower quadrant pain which is more specific and uh, in ED specificity is very important so right lower quadrant pain will be the admission diagnosis and then coming to the past medical history of the patient patient is having uh, hypertension and diabetes this can be also coded based on the client guidelines need not to stress on the family history and social history because uh, this is just an information that uh, patients parents are having any chronic conditions like that then ROS uh, patient uh, uh, or all review of system is uh, reviewed and uh, uh, patient is telling that uh, in gastrointestinal he is having some right lower quadrant pain remaining all are normal and physical examination in this physician will examine all the uh, organ system like constitutional mm, constitutional is uh, nothing but in this patient temperature body weight etc all are covered in the constitutional then he will examine HENT respiratory all are normal only then gastrointestinal in the gastrointestinal physician has absorbed some tenderness in the right lower quadrant because he is coming with the right lower quadrant pain and remaining all are normal only next coming to the uh, workup as patient is having the pain so physician has ordered some laboratory uh, reports like urine analysis WBC and uh, apart from that he also ordered some CT abdomen mm, so he got found that uh, urine analysis is normal uh, radiology he found some kidney stones with hydronephrosis and he also gave some injection that is morphine um, all this is workup ordered by the physician so this this part is done next coming to the medical decision making so based on the patient condition that is right lower quadrant pain physician has evaluated and based upon the results so he got to found that there is some kidney stones with hydronephrosis and uh, according to the condition he has administered some pain control that is morphine injection so this is the main part weightage of the report so based on the condition he gave some uh, injection and he ordered the uh, radiology laboratory etc so finally he has given the final impression as kidney stones with hydronephrosis with what the patient coming with the complaint according to that he did the workup and he gave the final impression and any old records are there he reviewed and finally we need to check the MD ED physician sign this is also very important and one more thing I want to cover is in a radiology final result uh, need not to quote from this because this is given by the radiologist it is not given by the ED physician suppose if uh, under this final result our ED physician sign is there we can code it and uh, patient has given the IM injection also it's coming to ICDs uh, in this we need to code two things one is admission diagnosis principal diagnosis admission diagnosis is nothing but uh, the chief comp a chief complaint or HPI complaint uh, as patient is coming with the right lower quadrant pain so this will be the admission diagnosis and then principal diagnosis is the final result and then CPTs CPTs we will cover in the next session now we will see only the ICDs so we will code the ICDs now okay so admission diagnosis is right lower quadrant pain we will code that we will go to encoder pro
one second so now we will see the admission diagnosis icd right lower quadrant pin how to code that we'll go to encoder pro uh, in this uh, we'll go to coding tab and again in this icd 10 cm index in this icd 10 index to diseases and injuries so now patient is coming with the abdominal pain so the main term is pain we'll go to pain mm, pain and this where the pain is abdomen so we'll go to abdomen mm, yes we got it abdomen where the pain is right lower quadrant pain so lower right quadrant so the code is r10.31 this is the admission diagnosis so done with the admission diagnosis uh, what is the final impression final impression is kidney stones with hydronephrosis so hydronephrosis is the main term so we will go to hydronephrosis 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 with kidney stones hydronephrosis and this with abstraction by yes kidney stones is nothing but the real and calculus so our code is n13.2 this is the final diagnosis n13.2 n13 is the diagnosis so now we got it admission diagnosis is r10.32 and final diagnosis is n13.2 done with the ICDs in the next session I will explain how to calculate the ENM level and how to give the modifier and what all the uh, any injections are there we will go through it thank you for watching